All right, I'm going to show you how to make a tin roof here, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and select the uh, grid here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click it once and hold the left mouse button down and just drag it into the uh, view here and let go. And we're going to rotate this just a little bit, and we're going to zoom up so we can see it. As you can see, i got these little handles to rotate it. That's because I'm in universal manipulator mode. So when I select this handle and turn it, I'm just going to hold the shift key and let go. As you can see over here in the properties, it's set that at 45 degrees, which most roofs are at 45 degrees. Some are and some are not. Alright, then I'm going to go ahead and select the edge here. I'm going to select the, uh, not the end one, I'm going to select this one here next to it. Then I'm going to go ahead and loop it. Then I'm going to go ahead and ring it. Then I'm going to go back over to the properties here. And you can see I got one over. We're going to select that to number two. This is going to select every other uh, edge here. So I'm going to go over to the vertex modeling. And I'm going to select the edge tool here. And I'm going to go to the third one down. As you can see in the command viewer right here you can see what I'm selecting and if you notice I am in world mode here so we'll select here and just pull apart just a little bit and left mouse click and when I click it separate them and I got these blue ones in the middle so I'll just be able to pull it just a little bit and we'll just validate that so this is going to make the ribs in the top of the roof here. Now I need to go over to selected object mode because I want to select the object here and I'm going I'm to mirror it. So with the selected object mode selected, let's move this over here. Then we're going to use the cemetery here. Then we're going to go ahead and turn this around. And we want to mirror the other side. So, this highlighted, we'll click here once, and that's validated. As you can see in the scene tree here, we got two different objects. Now I'm going to go over to the weld, and weld all. And when I do, you'll see in the scene tree here, it'll just be one. Okay, with that selected... We need to go back into the edge mode. Select any edges. It don't matter where. On the top of the uh, peak here. I'll select a 1 on one side. Hold the shift key. And hold 1 on the other side. Then we're going to loop it. Alright. Now we've got a loop here. And now we're going to use the bridge tool. To connect these together for the roof. So there's the peak of the roof. Of course, the peak of the roof here is the roof is not actually uh, it's kind of short. It needs to be kind of long, but if I wanted to stretch it out like that, it wouldn't look right. So I Control Z that. Go back to selected object mode. Then we're going to go ahead and mirror that one more time, and we're going to mirror that to the other side. So with that said, make sure that it's validated or just double click then what we're going to do is gonna, we're going to go ahead and use the weld tool again as you can see we got two in the scene tree here we're going to weld both these together and now you have one solid roof like I said you really don't want to stretch it out because it would uh, these ribs would get oblong and wouldn't look uniform so this is basically how you would make a roof